Oh, don't worry about it. You stay as long as you need to. I love you, darling. Husband number seven? Charlie, for short. Hey, is this son of the slammer yet? No, he's not. But Charlie's a wreck. He's down at the police station trying to get any kind of news. Don't you have an election tomorrow? Yeah. Look, the campaign's over, and it is what it is now. There's nothing else I can do. And that's the spirit. Did you come here just to annoy me? No, no, I, I also came to see if you were okay. It's hot. So that was concern on your part? Uh, yes, I want to help. Really? Well, well, my life's shot to hell. Might as well see if we can save yours. When I asked Ross for a divorce, he threatened to disappear with Daniela. Come on, you know that's just talk. Well, I don't know that's just talk. I truly believe he would take my daughter from me. There you go again. What? You're talking as if Ross has no rights to see his own child, no, no matter what went down between the two of you. He's still Danielle's father. No, he's not. Ross is not Daniela's father. Todd Manning is Daniela's father. What are you saying? I'm saying we bust out of this hellhole. We can't just go out the door. There's an empty room on the fourth floor with roof access. If we go out that window, there's a gutter down the back side of the building. And... Yeah, and then I'll just shimmy right down? Sorry. You're just so not disabled to me. I forget. I never forget I'm in this chair. Daddy's coming for you, Daddy. And I'm not going to live without you. We'll find a way out with your chair. There has to be access, right? Or else you couldn't be here. Yeah, my parents said that's the main reason why they chose this school. Okay, then. We get you to Seattle. You have your surgery. You walk again. Then we go surfing. In Seattle? No, Tahiti. We'll find my dad. He has to still be there. I thought the number was disconnected. Yeah, the only home I've ever known is not in service. It's so messed up. I know my dad didn't want to send me away. He'd help us. I just have to find him. Uh, this must be the boys' floor. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I should say so. May I help you? Okay, there you go. Got some interns from The Sun volunteering for you this afternoon. They're going to put up some flyers. Well, that is very helpful. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. You know, this is a must win for you. I just can't imagine my life with Dorian as mayor. You know? Oh, hey. What do you think that's good? Look at this. Did you actually go trick or treating? No, but Blair and I and the kids entered that costume contest at the community center. Oh. We did okay. But Gigi Marasco and her little punk one. Good for that. So, how's Blair? She's Blair. Huh. You know, chippy, funny. I don't know what she's up to. Well, perhaps she was just trying to keep you company after your breakup. Hmm? At least she tells me the truth. Oh, come on. Taya was going to tell you about the ex-husband. Not so ex-husband. She was really struggling with it, Todd. My lord, she really played you too, didn't she? What does that mean? Vicky. The whole thing was a scam, from the beginning. Yes, she and Ross were in and on it from the beginning. She was going to marry me, wipe me clean, and right off into the sunset with Ross. Oh, really? Absolutely. That was the big secret she was hiding. Ross is not Danielle's father. No, I'm sorry. I know you were looking forward to meeting your niece. How is this possible? Todd and Ross and I were all stranded together on that island. When Ross and I were rescued, I was pregnant with Todd's child. Then you married Ross? Yeah. And never told him? Look, Ross had no idea that Todd and I had slept together much less. Let alone that you were passing Todd's kid off as his. No, I wasn't. I, I didn't know for sure until recently. Oh. At which time I realized I'd made a huge mistake, okay? You know, Ross has spent the last 15 years thinking Danielle was his. I realized that, Eli. And trust me, I'm going to make things right. Oh, yeah? How are you yes. going to make things right? Just by telling him? Think that'll make things right? 
He's gonna kill you. I'm Ross Rayburn. I'm Danielle's father, and I, I must have got turned around. I seem to be on the voice floor. How did you get in here, Mr. Rayburn? Visiting hours are long past. Right. Well, I, I, I live in Tahiti, and I just flew in, so... I'm Danielle Rayburn's father. I'm aware of that. And you're not on Miss Rayburn's approved visitors list. I shall have to ask you to leave immediately. Are you